and welcome to Wake Up America. Political history in the United States has always predominantly catered to the two-party system. Our present day is no exception, but despite the unwavering opposition between modern Republicans and Democrats, the choice between the two parties has become increasingly difficult to discern. Many of the fundamental flaws are shared by both parties, leaving the American public longing for another, better option for office. These similarities are not due to the best possible solutions have been found, but rather because the parties in power have found it to be the most strategically advantageous to move toward one another. It's no surprise given the structure of our current political system. In a system where no third party opponent can compete with the other two major parties, it is prudent for the major parties to differentiate themselves from each other as little as possible. By doing this, they alienate as few voters as possible while still holding on to their base voters on wedge issues like birth control or gay rights. But at the end of the day, we're still electing someone who is looking out for multinational corporations instead of middle class Americans. The leftover wedge issues are important to some people, but the more crucial issues that could actually differentiate the candidates are being left off the table. So why has no third party emerged to offer an alternative? There are numerous issues, including ballot access, name recognition, and media coverage, but the main issue is access to money. The two main parties that advocate for the entrenched interest have the financial backing of those interests. Through the Citizens United ruling and the rampant use of super PACs, corporations have a growing power to use money to further influence elections. When a third party does have an impact at an election currently, it is generally to pull down the vote count of the candidate with which they are most ideologically aligned. Many individuals still blame Ralph Nader for Al Gore's loss in 2000. A change in campaign finance would not fix this problem overnight, but it might level the playing field to the point where a candidate's viewpoints could stand on their own merits. If ideas become more important than money, perhaps our candidates might have to start speaking about issues that truly matter. For more news and information, please log on to economyincrisis.org.